Victory is here. Is someone there? Never should have come. It's nothing. Arke says it's good that we're here, but I don't know. Something about this place doesn't feel right. What? No, 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 no. Y yes. Yes, I see. All right. Right. I'll settle in, and then Arke and I will start to put things right. Don't you worry. Oh, I've read a few things. Heard a few more things. Arke has told me a bit as well. The story they'd like you to believe is that they were such a noble bunch, doing the honorable thing and saving lives. Only I hear that's not quite how it happened. Secret organization, you see. No one to blame when homes are broken into, things stolen. Heard they'd go on midnight raids, pillaging and looting, and then stash the spoils somewhere, guarded by their sigil. Arke tells me the Sunfire spell can break open those caches, but I've never found one. I think he might be lying to me. Look, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. But I'm sure we can find something worth your time. Oh, good. I was just starting to get bored. Would you look at that? An exploding crossbow bolt. This should be fun. Here. Let me show you how this works. I'll have some for sale soon. Ready for more? I certainly am. Be a dear and fetch me another set of Dwemer diagrams.
someone there. Let's see what you've got there. I see. Similar to the exploding bolt, only this one will cause damage with splintering shards of ice sharp as glass. Charming. Here, let me show you how it's made. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. It's amazing what I'm able to learn from studying these Dwemer plans. Want to head out there and collect some more? Is someone there? You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Do you think I could borrow a troll? Why? Well, I need to do some testing on this new weapon, and I was thinking a live target would be helpful. Are you mad, woman? After the trouble I've gone through. Fine. You could have just said no. Hope you're getting along with Isron. It takes some getting used to. Back already? Can't wait. Let's see... Ooh, this diagram explains how to fashion a bolt that will send a jolt of shock through whatever it hits. Testing this will require some extra precautions, I think. Here, let me show you how this works. I'll have some for sale soon. I'm starting to think you like this as much as I do. Here's the location of the next set of Dwemer diagrams. Thanks.
Ain't this a surprise? You never disappoint. What have you got there? Is it really? It is. I was hoping we'd find this. It's a diagram for a Dwemer crossbow. Much more sophisticated and powerful than the ones we use. Here, let me show you how it's made. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. All right, one more set of Dwemer plans to go. I think I'll be sad when we're done collecting these. Who knows though? Maybe more plans will turn up in the future. Lucky here. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. I'm going to fuck you down. Cannot bless you. You never disappoint. What have you got there? Now this is a find. Plans for improving the Dwemer crossbow. This should add some extra punch to an already devastating weapon. Here, let me show you how it's made. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. It's not easy to get supplies way out here. But I'm managing. Take a look. See you.
I'm ready if you are. Come on, it's just around the side. around this bend. It doesn't look so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Where'd you come from? The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just... Be glad you weren't here then. Where'd you come from? Thank you. Who's there? 
This leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. We've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's home. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. My father... No, not really. I did spend a lot of time with my mother, but she saw me more like a protege than a daughter. What about you? What were your parents like? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. Let's, uh... Let's just keep going. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Where'd you come from?
Where'd you come from? I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around.
the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. A handful of Soul Gem Shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified Void Salts... Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which... If we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them.
Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Just get all of the ingredients into the vessel. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? All right, here goes. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of Oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that managed to communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. I'm ready when you are. All right, that looked painful. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the Ideal Masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Have you made up your mind? Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. There's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. 
I can't imagine a better place. Then we find out where she hid it, if she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or as now, or... you know what I mean. Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he could get his hands on her. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her. Ugh, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. My advice? Never welch on a bargain with the ideal masters. They don't take it very well. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change him. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Mother? Mother! Wait a minute. The 
can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volgahard, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana? This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Sora. If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, 
I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they craved. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. The Ideal Masters unleashed their Keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison.
beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place, but I'm sure he'll be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse.
You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernavir. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. But I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't look around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, which... Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the Soul Cairn, it was given to the Ideal Masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Come on, let's go home. I would 
speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quanarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. In my language, the Quanarin is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached my ears, Dovakin. You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Gilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. 
have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. Yes? I can't say it surprises me. I kind of figured we were heading for this someday. I just didn't know when. If. I've been assuming that's where all this is going. I've been trying to make my peace with it. Come on, we can talk about this another time. I trust your journey was successful? I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after-effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. 
Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a Moth Priest is in his latter years, but in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. <laughs>